it's a kind of it's also a full momentum when I snap here my leg coming you know my core twisted because you, when I start I, I don't have the sizing of those big King Kong play major yeah. so I was using all my everything I can you know my body right. to generate more maximum power that I can okay and that's you know the speed here and the, you know something I work with uh, you know Rusty and oh, yeah. Rusty you know he's always saying try to hit the ball with your knob and, and try to push that bat here the maximum you can and at the end you snap so I was working through different drill that I stand, you know, beside the fence, yeah. and I always using my hands, and I keep the bat closer I can, a little bit pass, and after the snap. So some people open up fast, so the bat go through there, and you don't have exactly the same snap that you can generate. But if you go here, and I'm here, and I go like this, so I get more snap because I stay close with me. I'm stronger. And I snap at the end. So say are you taking the knob and hitting it, the ball off the bat yeah. with it? Yeah, so first one I'm working from the fence and I put like 200 swing, non-stop. Okay. Because it's, it's become a mental memory. It's, you know, like Tiger Woods hitting so many balls. Yeah. It was good, but it's a mental memory. Because it has to become a mental memory that when you step up there with stress, with people, with ball, it has to become naturally. And then the next step, you go in the tee ball. So you... And don't forget, you have to hit those balls way in front of you. Because don't forget, baseball is a jab. jab. So the ball is here. But slow pitch, it's your big right. So you have to generate power, hit that ball with everything that you get. So you hear that ball is coming. Your point, or the contact where you swing that ball is way in front. Because you have to bring that power there and hit. If you just hit here, you swing with your arms, you don't generate power. Okay. So all this together, yeah. you have to keep that bat close. You try to hit with the knob, and then you open up. At around 5'10", 230, Frank Henry certainly has almost a ballet-like finish. He has such great rotation. And he teaches what we have in our camps. Hands back connection, rotation, stab of the knob inside the bottom of the ball, and axe snap. And then a nice strong finish just because his rotation so good against that tight brace leg. Look at the explosion and the power that he develops. That's why he's one of the top pros. And you can listen. We say ba-boom. Ba is the easy tempo and boom is the explosion. His grunt. The grunt is what his boom is. It triggers that rotation, stab, and snap. Incredible. So let's see how our teachings and Frank Henry's apply to a guy similar size, 5'11", 210, Donnie. And uh, 33 years old, watch how he drops into the front foot like he's stepping down a step. Weight transfers fully before he rotates. You want to have your rotation plant then. Watch the upper body. Knob comes down, knob comes up. Real easy swing. Uh, not a stab and snap. Not a short, quick stab and snap to set up the lag and the snap. And again, on a little pitch here. Again, very lazy. Knob comes down. It's not a straight line A to B. Comes back up and he ends up rolling over into the ball. You want to have the first part of the bub be long and drawn out. You want the short, second part to be short and quick. Let me get another swing here. Really, not much hip wind and the rotation doesn't plan it very good. There's a heavy weight transfer and then you roll up over the top of it. Again, the rotation's there, but it's not a quick swing and you roll up over the top, not an axe snap. So a lot to work with Donnie on this. And we worked on these principles of rotation, stab, and axe snap and developing a good lower body. So your first swings with the static hips are watch how your bracelet, it's not a bracelet, you're just drifting forward over it. So we had to go back and bring in a little bit of a wind, reach ahead and have the rotation plan the front foot a lot better. On day two, we had to drop the right shoulder and chest into the rear hip to get more load. Great, just phenomenal difference on it. And again, from the back side, you can see the load of the chest into the rear hip, weight on the back foot and then a good rotation. And then watch when you go off the tee here. Look at that lower body, watch the hips. Rotate and come open. Sometimes you want to short step it. You gotta make sure you really reach that brace leg out ahead so that we can wait, we can rotate, get the weight transfer. But look at all those hips torque against one another. Now on the upper body here, look at how here we roll over the top. We get in the knob tend to want to come up, watch this stab, go to the bottom inside the ball, axe snap and fall all the way through. So lead arm right there. But you can see on the lead arm you tend to um, not extend right away. So here uh, we do the downy drill. We rotate and then we snap. Rotate, stab, and snap. 
and here's a perfect snap. And we want to be in this position right here where the knuckles are up. Sometimes your left knuckles aim down, that's going to get you into rollover. If you can keep those knuckles pointing up just like hitting an axe into a tree, great. So we do the full swing ba-boom with the stab. And again, we want to work on really extending that left tricep and getting that arm to come off into a stabbing motion. Swing simulator. And again, look at your lead arm is a little bit jammed, so that's something you're going to have to work on, getting that lead arm to extend out. But here off the tee right away, look at that lead arm get straight, extend, and look at that great swing you have off the tee. We have all the elements we want to see right there. Rota look at the lead arm straight, follows the rotation, stabs, X snap, and then a nice finish as the rotation comes around and we get into the rollover and that bat follows that same path. You can see that rotation and stab to the inside right here off the tee. Rotation, stab to the inside, bottom of the ball, continue to rotate around. And again, that lead arm has been a problem with you. It wants to kind of short arm a little bit, so that's something you have to really work on with that lead arm swing drill. Again here, just to watch where the knob is aiming. Instead of coming up, it's a short, quick stab and snap. All off the rotation. The lead arm is the focus for most of the pros because that's connected to the hips. And so you've got to get that extended, it's got to follow the rotation. Great stab and snap. The lead arm not only transfers the powers of the hip, powers of the hip, but it, it's a guide. It, it's, it, it tells you where to aim. And you get power of the top panel. Look at the rotation, stab, and snap with Frank Henry here. <clears throat> Just fabulous. Look at the weight transfer. Foot way up in the air and that belly finish. So here's one of the first swings we had at the end. And again, it's so easy to lose concentration. Watch the knob come down. The knob aims up. And then we get into a little bit of a rollover. So again, we want to make sure we're act style. But Donnie, tremendous amount of improvement. Uh, here, you can see the short step a little bit. It's a good hit that ball went out actually, but watch the stab. You're aiming at the inside. You get into the rollover a little bit early. These are all things that take a lot of practice and drilling. But look where you're stabbing. And see how the lead wrist turns down a little bit of a rollover. But you have a margin of error there. Watch Frank Henry's. What's his lead arm? It's a guy that transfers the power, rotation, stab, and snap. It's beautiful. So again, this lead arm. See how your lead arm is a little bit, a little bit jammed on that? That's what we have to really work on. But right here, you, you know, you don't have as long a stride on this swing with another ball that went out. But look at the lead arm get straighter, more X snap, and more follow the rotation. Just like you're swinging around the hula hoop. That was great. The lower body, really great. Reach that stride like you had. See, you kind of short stride it there, and you end up a little bit jammed on it. Something we'll have to work on. Again, lead arm reaches ahead, need a little bit longer stride. But on this swing right here, you lost some power. But again, it was a straight stab at the bottom and inside of the ball. And here's a ball where you really get the upper body working well. Again, we need to make sure we get that lead foot strode around, but here's rotation, stab. Look at the lead arm, how straight it is, X snap, and follow all the way around. Just a tremendous job and a great deal of improvement. If you keep drilling it, you're going to get it right. It's going to be fabulous. You increased up to 89 miles an hour on line drives, and we didn't hit any out before. You had some power backside, and you hit six of them out. You're right in the 360 range. Awesome, Donnie. got to be quicker with the, the rotation and the stab. It's got to be short and quick and really torquing those shoulders to keep that rotation to make sure that that stab follows through with the snap. If you uh, if you take the knob, go inside of the ball, bottom part of the ball, you're going to square it up every time. If you uh, start doing a loop and come up with the knob, you're going to hit over the top of it. I think we did really great here. Uh, these DiMarini bats, I'm not used to swinging, but I'm definitely going to buy one now. The new DiMarini Sunday Swagger Senior Bats are out in August, and the performance is absolutely spectacular on them. Top premium bat in the game. If you want some Louisville Slugger products, get a hold of Frank Henry on Facebook. You can take care of your needs. Also, I'd like to thank our main partner again, D. Marini. Uh, shout out to the evil one, Bob Russell, evilsports.com. If you order balls direct from him, you get use the swing makeover code, you get a 5% discount. Uh, the GT USA, they'll give you a 10% discount on the GTs that we use in our program and our camps. Also, I'd like to thank uh, Red Athlete, the makers of uh, D. Marini Apparel and Sub Die Masters, SSUSA, Senior Softball USA, the greatest organization in senior softball. 
and softball magazine senior and spring training camps. Swing Simulator sold at www.sportstechnique.com. You can go there to see lessons for summer and for winter camps that Brett and I run. Also on the West Coast, Steve Emily at SLI Academy. Our buddy teaches the same stuff we do off the Swing Makeover Show. 